We are currently performing application on County Highway 9 in Jersey County, better known as Otterville Road. We had an existing pavement that was approximately 25 years old, and we'd had been having several fatalities on this road and also roadway departure accidents. It's time to make improvements to it. Over all the alternatives we had on this job, we decided resurfacing was the best because we could widen that road, but also utilize the J-band on the project. The Otterville Road project that Jersey County is doing is a great safety project. They've added shoulder width to their pavement. And they're putting rumble strips at the center line and not on the edges. So creating a much safer roadway for the folks that use their roads. By using a VRAM product underneath those rumble strips, those safety features are gonna last throughout the life of this pavement and make it a safe road. The rumble strips in themselves are a safety enhancement. It keeps the public awake and aware and on the road. However, when they are grouped into the pavement, it provides some open spaces for water to settle and over time that water can break down the pavement surface below and deteriorate the pavement. Well then that's a place for water to migrate down into there and then you have to uh, worry about a maintenance problem there with that water infiltrating down in there. Paving joints are the first area to fail on a project as you drive down a highway or any road you'll notice if a longitudinal joint cracks or you'll see cracks in your lane. It was found that where J-band was placed underneath the pavement there was very minimal cracking, where the rest of the pavement had already fallen apart. Once we started full bore commercialization with projects in the state of Illinois, over time we've watched those projects. They've seen seven and six winters respectively. And there is just a hairline crack at the top of the surface. And that crack is maybe at the most a quarter inch deep on these projects. It has a tendency to migrate both horizontally and vertically into the mix. And with this highly polymer modified material, by placing it underneath the intended area of the paving joint, you're actually making it impermeable to water. It performs. So by applying the VRAM, that secures that pavement and keeps it intact. It's economical beneficial to the residents of the county because now they have a, a smoother road, a longer lasting road, but also one that's maintenance free so we're not out here with our crews shutting down traffic to take care of the maintenance operation. One other thing that the county did on this project was they utilize highway safety improvement program funds to do the project. It's difficult for some counties to be able to get resurfacing projects done and that type of a program that the state of Illinois gets from the federal government to pass on to local agencies is very important. The Highway Safety Improvement Program is a federally funded program available to local agencies to help reduce the crashes that are occurring on their roadways. So it's important to be aware of the HSIP opportunities that each project can present. We were able to take those dollars and stretch them farther with that money and make further improvements. For the initial cost of the product, by the time you get into your second sealing cycle even, you've more than saved that initial cost. And that cost that you save can be put into other highway projects. Collaborating with Asphalt Materials is great because we're coming together to provide solutions that are cost effective and provide longevity and safety all in one. 